Yeah, wow, guys. Okay, I'm excited. I've got to go have a look at some things now. But often within classrooms, there's not just the teacher. Guys, it's about a year since I did my last E-Rank video, so I thought I'd update it, and you guys have been asking for it. I thought we'd just go through E-Rank together. I'll show you the things that I look at. I just have the free version. It works well for me. I'm happy with it. So let's log on. comes here to the members login, which I just automatically have it set as. Because I have my shop linked to it, it will show us particularly for how many active listings I've got, spelling issues, missing tags, um, missing attributes, images, things like that. And then up the top here, it says how many sales we've had, then what my global sales rank is, see what words are trending. So summer gift, personalized gifts, summer jewelry, minimalist wedding. So then I often come out here to competition and have a look at Etsy's top sellers. These other ones, you need the paid version. I don't have that, so I'm just going to go top sellers. So I always like to have a bit of a look here and work out what's doing really well and where they are. So who had the most sales yesterday? Isn't it phenomenal to be getting that amount of sales per day? That is amazing. So Plan and Kate, I'm guessing they are doing, there we go, paper supplies. You can just click up here, it's eight years old, and you can go to their shop. So here we go. And yes, she's selling all those kind of things. So many sales, how amazing is that? And then come back. I'm guessing this is a similar one. Oh, this is jewelry, okay. So Caitlin Minimalist is jewellery. Okay, now this is the kind of stuff I'm trying to pick up. Perfect gift for mum. So maybe people are starting to look perfect. Instead of just gift for mum, perfect, okay? So I will remember that word. Mod party, weddings. Okay, so bride and babe shirt. That is very cheap, 13 US dollars. What about the shipping? Does she make the money there? Six, so $20.50. So that's quite similar to what I would start selling stuff initially. All right, so then let's go back up the top here and have a look at Keyword Explorer. So specifically when I did this last year, I was having a look at teachers, shirts, and working out what people were doing. And look, let's be honest, that's what I'm looking at now. Teacher shirts are selling hot. Let's work out if there's a niche there that we could utilize and make some money. So teacher shirt. Teacher tumbler. There are some tumblers on Printify. Well, look, I've been having a bit of a look at them, but I haven't done them just yet. But see how the competition's a lot lower. It's kind of the orange. And then you get down here and you can see the green ones. So what have we got here? Special education teacher, shirts, teacher gift box, personalized teacher stamps, teacher stamps, teacher ornament, teacher tote bag, teacher appreciation. I've done a video on tote bags, so feel free to get on that. Second grade teacher shirt. So what I want you to notice here, I pay attention to here, is it's second grade. It's not the word, it's second grade. So. That's what I changed last time that really helped. Instead of just doing the whole written word second grade, I would do that instead. So that's something we've learned there. Look, teacher bag. But I would have that as in the title, but teacher tote bag you're more likely to rank for. So I'd have that near the front. Preschool teacher shirt, maths teacher shirt. Teacher tumbler. 100 days of school, that's old. That was a while ago. First grade teachers there, and that's the written one. Golden teacher, now I looked this up recently. Now golden teacher is actually a mushroom. If I click on it, you can see there it's a mushroom. It's a type of mushroom. <laughs> because I was like, golden teacher. That's an interesting one, I don't understand it, but it's got low competition and if I type it in over here, golden teacher. They're mushrooms. So there we go. So if you're doing a cottage core shirt, then using the word using a tag golden teacher would be a great idea. Halloween teacher shirt, yes, absolutely. If you if you're going that way, have your Halloween shirts up. 
Um, the simple one I do is trick or teach, <laughs> which is a really popular one. You just got to put your own spin on it. Okay, here's an interesting one, ESL. So English as a second language teacher shirt. So if we click on that, the competition is very low. They're the keywords that it's being found for. Okay, let's open up Etsy. Okay, so 1,538 results there. Now relevancy, because I'm in Australia, sometimes it's just not as accurate as what people would be seeing in America. So sometimes I need to just go by like top customer reviews. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of these. So I'm gonna click on this one and we'll say, take that. Then we're gonna come back into E-Rank and we're going to compare listings. So I'm in listings, I go down here to compare listings. This was a question I had recently, so that's how I do it. Then I put one in, don't click compare until we've done the four. So let's go this one. Then we've got the four. So the thing about having the free version is you get 25 per day. So if I compare, that will count as one. But if I click each one individually, it could be four. So just get them all in first and then compare. So what have we got here? Let's have a bit of a look. So daily views, that's got the highest daily views. Total views, so this is a recent one. Look at that, 43 days. So this one I'm gonna pay the most attention to because it's 43 days. So obviously, and it's got 40 hearts, so it is getting picked up. Whether they're using ads, let's have a look. Uh, no, it's not on an ad there. That one's using an ad and that one's using an ad. Let's go down to the next ad row. No, nope, not there. No, okay, so maybe not even from ads. It was listed in June this year. These are all last year. Let's have a look. Green is a great one to go after. So if I click on it, competition is very low for green. And then medium, high, it just kind of gets darker. Red would be very high. I think though sometimes you do need some of the reds just to kind of, especially if you're doing ads and you were doing a teacher shirt, I would still kind of look at doing some of the red ones if you needed to, but that's too broad for me. What one would I do? I would do, so I might do teacher team shirt. Okay, uh, ESL teacher shirt, I'd definitely do that. ESL teacher, English language. So something else that I've been doing and I noticed someone else did this is often teachers are looking for like teacher squad, team, tribe, or teacher, obviously. But often within classrooms, there's not just the teacher. So I like to use those other keywords as well so that if someone is looking up ESL, team teacher then i would have one tag that just had team squad tribe so that i could then rank for that so if they typed in esl teacher squad or esl squad i've got squad in my tags so i've used that i'd also have it up here in the title and you, as you know i always like to copy and paste the title and just put that in the description i put it right at the top i've been doing that since we really started and that's based on YouTube. On YouTube, the first few lines of your description are so important for ranking in SEO on YouTube. So I've just been doing that with Etsy as well. The descriptions become important, but funnily enough, it didn't massively increase us being found in search, even though we've been doing it for ages. I wanted to have a look at if we go keywords, I reckon something like retro, teacher retro teacher svg retro teacher sticker teacher retro okay so it doesn't rank massively but let's have a look in etsy what happens if i do it in etsy because last year i did this a lot with leopard when leopard was massive so here we go look at this retro teacher shirt retro teacher shirt fifth grade there's the svg fourth grade smiley face now i'm not sure about smiley faces so i'm not I don't do them. I've heard of people getting trademarked for it. I don't know the technicalities of it. If you're gonna go down that track, be really careful. Um, have a look in some of the Facebook groups and type in smiley face and see what they say. Other people have mentioned it before, but I just stay well away from that. Okay, big result, 23,528. Let's go top customer reviews, hey? Oh, these are nice. Look, that one's a bestseller. 
And look at that, guys. See, that's a bestseller. And it's $27.49, free delivery. So they are still the bestseller with prices like that. All right, how about we grab some of these? So there's the word retro. So they're using vintage as well. All right, let's write that down as another word. Vintage. Groovy. Okay, groovy. I started doing that. <laughs> groovy. So let's go back to listings, compare listings. Oh, another bestseller. Okay, so what have they got? Flower, retro, floral, retro, flower, floral. Okay, floral. So my understanding here, so see how it doesn't say bestseller until we click in on it is because they're running a sale. So if you want to hide your bestsellers, run a sale. That's what I do. It's just, I mean, if someone's going to put in the effort to go in and have a look, you can see it's a bestseller. Whereas this one is just in your face. Now I'm just going to go with three. Let's just get on with it. See what we've got here. Okay, so if they put theirs as, as the top number, 999, they have sold over 100. Ooh, look at that. April, it was created. And they've sold one today. These guys have sold one today. And these guys have sold one today. But isn't it interesting here? So this is what I was saying. So this person is using tags and they're not green, right? They also do ads. I have seen them do ads. I haven't for this one, so I'm not sure, but I've seen in other areas they do ads. But see, this is what I was saying. Here they are gonna rank for every grade. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then down here. And then group team shirts. Middle school obviously is not as high. They put that there. Retro teacher shirt. Isn't that interesting with the tags? So they haven't got like their groovy teacher, retro vintage teacher. They've very much gone for other ones, haven't they? So that's what I kind of do to have a bit of a look. So I've definitely learned something this morning. I hope you guys have too. I'm just gonna, before we finish up, I just wanna have a look at, let's change this and go floral teacher shirt, okay? 4,260. This is interesting here. So we've got best seller in floral teacher shirt. Oh, I haven't noticed this before guys. Have you noticed this? So there's 22. Oh wow, okay. I did not know about this feature. So I'm guessing if I click on that, does that mean it's a best seller? Yes! Wow, guys. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm excited now. Let's go back to Retro Teacher Shirt. Let's go down Best Seller in Retro Teacher Shirt. Oh, thank you, Etsy. That makes it so much easier for me. So here we go. We know these are the best sellers. So Look into that before you then put it into E-Rank. Wow, guys, I'm excited. I had not noticed that bestseller for that keywords. I mean, it narrows it down so much, doesn't it? Like that's under 200. This is exciting. I've got to go check out some of my other <laughs> niches and have a look at that now. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. Bye.